Hey, this is Tom Jacobs from tdjacobs.com. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and an energy worker and also a channel. And at tdjacobs.com, you'll find a ton of our resources and tools uh, to help you navigate your life. Um, this video is on Chiron in the fourth house, the natal placement. Um, at tdjacobs.com, there are a bunch of resources on Chiron, including the Chiron Report, the Chiron Audio Course, and the book, uh, Chiron 2012 in the Aquarian Age, the key and how to use it. Um, let me just start before I get into the fourth house placement. Let me just uh, explain to you how I work with Chiron as a general overview. And you'll benefit from watching the um, overview video, Chiron overview video, and also the Chiron and energy management video uh, that I prepared recently. Total about 35, 38 minutes, um, just to give you an overview there. I work with Chiron as an energy antenna within a person. So if Mercury is the perception function, Jupiter is the belief and hope and faith function, uh, Chiron is sensitivity to energy. So you feel energy, you pick up on energetic waves and situations in the world around you, and you respond emotionally as if you're a musical instrument. So wherever I look at Chiron in the natal, in the natal chart, the house talks about the parts of life in which the chart holder is sensitive to energy, but really hypersensitive to energy. I do look at Chiron as about wounding and healing, but I don't stop there. I think that's a false dichotomy that we can get stuck in identities of being wounded or we'll stay wounded, but we'll help other people. We can get beyond that by mastering energetic and emotional sensitivity, including how to deal with our feelings and emotions, our needs, our vulnerabilities, and our insecurities. Now, specifically Chiron in the fourth house, the fourth house is the house of home and family, and also uh, your heritage, your ancestry, and what you need to do to have a solid, emotional, healthy, psychological foundation. So Chiron in the fourth house is about dealing with emotions. It's about dealing with needs and family. But anything that's in the fourth house is carried down through the family system, in, in my view. It's present in the family when the person was born. It's hanging in the air. So Chiron in the fourth says, people in my family are trying to figure out how to deal with their own sensitivity to energy and emotions, how to process difficult emotions, how to be you know, how to acknowledge uh, what we're feeling and deal with it and hold space for each other. People with Chiron in the fourth house typically have a feeling that their needs don't matter. And when they were very young, which is when the Chiron wound gets um, triggered or, or imprinted, and again, see the, the first two videos in the series on that, on that topic, uh, the poisoned arrow thing is a second wound. The first wound is a rejection at birth. So you may, if with Chiron in the fourth, you may be carrying around with you an inner infant who didn't feel welcome and didn't feel safe and whose needs didn't seem to matter. Now, it could be that a bunch of needs were taken care of, but a particular need, safety, security, support, validation, something wasn't. It can also mean that since Chiron's, you know, in the air in the family, it can be that one or of the parents or other family members are very chironic, very sensitive in their own right, and they're dealing with stuff that may preclude them from being able to deal with your stuff, to be able to hold space for you so you feel safe and can deal with your emotions. So whenever, wherever Chiron is in the birth chart, we may feel worthy of rejection. I call it feeling rejectable. And I kind of think of it as the opposite of feeling lovable. So you may feel, if you have Chiron in the fourth, regarding your own needs, your emotional needs, your material needs, your needs for connection to other people. The fourth house is a house of belonging and having a safe place to land. You may feel rejected because you express your needs. You may fear if you were to tell people what you need emotionally and socially and as you know, people being in your life, friends and other relationships, that they're not going to be there for you. Therefore, you might not fully inhabit your emotional foundation for fear of, you know, there's something wrong with you if you need something. Very often what can happen for people with this placement is when they know what they need, somebody else's needs matter more. Or they say, look, I could really use some support with this. And that person goes into some suffering state or can't pay attention or can't be there for the person. So, um, you know, you, you may have developed into somebody who invalidates what you need. Though you're human, of course you have needs that might have come up because it modeled for you or shown to you when you were very young 
that there wasn't room for your needs or your needs didn't matter. Now, how you deal with your feelings directly results from any kind of scenario that fits that pattern. Because if you don't acknowledge what you need and what you feel, or you don't acknowledge what you need, you're not going to acknowledge your feelings. You might not, you know, you may feel there's something wrong with you because of the specifics of what you need, or you may feel that you always are needing something and therefore something's wrong with you where other people don't seem needy. So if you're kind of attached to that inner infant and not yet matured out of a certain kind of attachment to it, you might feel that way a lot. But what happen, what you can do is deal with your energetic sensitivity. The truth is that you are hypersensitive to the reactions of others when you have or express needs or when you express emotion. When you attempt to rely on other people or reach out for support and validation from family, you're hypersensitive to their reactions. You will make or this inner baby will make mountains out of molehills. That's a Chiron process for any of us. So what happens is you say, hey, I need this. Somebody says I'm unavailable. You'll take it really personally because it stings because an inner infant is feeling that rejection. So your job is to mature into a, understanding you're the only person who can validate yourself and love yourself in the way that you need. You're the only person who can truly validate that you have needs and that there's nothing wrong with them. But you must also take time to nurture them. And what I recommend is becoming the kind of parent you wish you had. Make a list. What needs, what feelings, what things about me that I wish my parents could have supported or what could they have been for me or done for me? And you become those things for yourself now and that inner infant can let go. And you're not as attached to that sense of reject it, the rejection. And when you bring love to such inner parts, they feel loved. So we have to let our parents off the hook and uh, become the source of love for ourselves. And with Chiron on the fourth, it is all about validating emotions and needs. You might find a part of you that is very weepy and a part of you cries a lot or is scared uh, because he or she doesn't feel safe. You have to make yourself feel safe. You have to acknowledge those fear feelings and let everybody else off the hook. Now, as far as dealing with feelings, you might be kind of stuck on certain frequencies um, like sorrow or fear, but not know how to deal with other ones because you might be dealing with the skills and tools of a baby who doesn't have any skills and tools. So realize that when our chirons are triggered until we mature in the way that I teach and the way I describe in these materials I mentioned, um, we might be prone to being swept away by the abilities and skills and knowledge level of an inner infant, which just feels helpless and unsafe and unloved. So you must become the kind of parent you wish you had. Uh, and it's, it, this is one of the situations where God bless everybody, you're you know, powerful being who's creating a feeling of rejection so that you grow up to become the source of love for yourself. So it's not that your parents were bad parents necessarily. It doesn't mean they didn't try to love you or didn't love you. It means that you needed this speed bump so you could figure out how to develop your own foundation through self-validation, self-care, self-acknowledgement, self-love. So get the Chiron natal report for the full story on your own natal Chiron placement. It's about house and sign and natal aspects, as well as transits and progressions to your natal Chiron and transits of Chiron to the rest of your natal chart. So it's kind of a bulky report. And also the Chiron natal report or the Chiron uh, audio course and the, its transcription, my Chiron book, 2012 uh, and, the, and the Aquarian Age, the key and how to use it. So thanks for your time and energy. I hope this is helpful. Uh, talk to you later.